What's up guys? We are gathered here today to talk about making friends in a new city, particularly, specifically in a new city. Look, I get asked this question a lot. I'm not even kidding, like, y'all be sliding into my DMs being like, Sarah, how do you make friends? Especially when you like don't know anyone in a new city. And I'm like, honestly, fair question. I feel like this is just a good skill to have. So I thought I would make a little video explaining pretty much how I made every single friend I have in San Diego currently. I'm gonna just, you know, a little bit of a story time kind of list uh, nine ways that I go about making friends in a new city. Hopefully they will also work for you. Just for a little context in case you like don't know my life, which unless you see my vlogs, you wouldn't. So I moved to San Francisco like in 2020, I didn't know anyone. Then I moved to San Diego two months ago. Again, didn't know anyone. So as a very extroverted social being, I was like, homegirl needs to make some friends. So this is how I have met everyone in my current San Diego life. Number one is straight up, guys. Number one, this is the biggest one the people you live with. So A, live with roommates, and B, don't live with people you know. Even if you know people in the city you're moving to, don't live with them because you already know them, so you're gonna hang out with them anyways. If you live with different people, you can meet their social circles as well, and that's just gonna expand your horizons. I know it's a little bit risky because if you live with strangers, you never know if they're like gonna be weird, if you guys aren't gonna get along, but I just vet very carefully on Facebook roommate pages. You know, we FaceTime before, I stalk them on social media. I'm pretty good at picking out who I think I'm gonna get along with. And so the core of my friend group in San Diego are these girls that I found on the San Diego roommates page on Facebook. From the Facebook roommates page, I met four girls who I would say are the core of my squad here. We live in two separate houses because we couldn't find a house big enough. But these are the girls I hang out with like on a daily basis, who I text on a daily basis, who I would call my core squad. So first girl, Pri, she's my actual roommate and she moved here knowing people and knowing that some of her friends were also going to move, but she didn't live with them. So again, she did a good job with that because now she knows all of us. Through her, I met her best friend who also moved with her from the Bay Area. I met her boyfriend who also moved from the Bay Area and I met all of their friends because she actually has a good amount of friends in the city. So through her, I have met, I would say maybe 10 people through her little social network that she knew in San Diego. Then the other three girls, Angela, Julia, and Jackie, they're also the core of my squad. Did not know them coming in, love them now. I would say the three of them also didn't really know, maybe like, maybe they knew like one or two people, but like didn't really know anyone. So then like all of us just kind of go out together to meet people together. And I would definitely just recommend living with new people. That is like the number one method of how you find your homies. And because of the proximity of like living with them, it's easier and more convenient to hang out, so. That is step number one for me, and that was how my core squad was formed. Number two is reaching out to like acquaintances or anyone you may know from your past. This could be someone who like went to your college, who you had a class with, someone you like went to church with back in the day, someone who went to your elementary school, anyone who you see on social media or who you like heard is now in your city, reach out to them because you never know like, Y'all can link up and they probably have their own friends and then you can meet more people that way as well. So for me, there was this guy who I had like one or two classes with in business school and I think we studied together a couple times. I don't, I, we weren't like, like super good friends or anything, but like acquaintances. Found out he was in San Diego actually through Hinge, which is kind of funny, but we were like, oh my gosh, we had a class together. So we started texting, we were like, we should get our friend groups together. That's what we did actually this past weekend. We got our friend groups together, we had a bonfire, we played spike ball, and through him, I met all of his friends. And we were looking for guy friends, not gonna lie, because we had a lot of girlfriends at this point. So met like a solid amount of guy friends through him. 
and that is another method i would say me and this guy were not in the same circle in college at all like but the real world is a whole different game all like it doesn't really matter like even if y'all weren't in the same clique just reach out like you never know so that is tip number two for me number three if you like have any friends who are visiting and maybe they're visiting other friends or whatever meet up with them hang out with them basically always say yes to every social situation unless it's dangerous or peer pressure or, you know what i mean just say yes when you're invited to social situations say yes so basically my friend angela she has a friend from college who again they weren't i don't even know if they were like that close she hasn't seen him in like years but he was visiting town yesterday literally yesterday and he was and angela was like do you want to like meet up with him he him and his friend are like getting dinner with some people they play volleyball with i was like yeah let's go and through that friend who doesn't even live here we met four people who do live here and so it's one of his guy friends and then three girls they played volleyball with who were all our age and we had dinner with them we went out with them and now we're friends and we get their numbers oh that's a big thing make sure you get their numbers or like have some way of contacting them after you meet them otherwise it's like if you don't end up following up then it's like it's just gonna die out you kind of have to like be consistent like text them follow up make plans okay don't be ashamed to do that you have to keep following up or they're just gonna like fall by the wayside so we like to get people's numbers when we meet them we like to follow them on instagram make group chats just keep it going make plans when you're hanging out with them like oh let's play volleyball next thursday you know like just keep it going it's just building that rapport and like making sure you have plans set in stone just meet up with everyone you know say yes to every social situation don't be lazy okay don't be lazy method number four is joining sports and now you do not have to be good at sports we're talking i am sports we're talking pickup sports we're talking random leagues and this is really big in San Diego at least. There are a lot of spike ball leagues, there are a lot of volleyball leagues, a lot of, you know, everything. I know frisbee is also a really big one, kickball, whatever you're interested in. I found this spike ball, it's not even really a league, it's just like a drop in spike ball thing that happens every Tuesday at the beach that is close by to where we live. And so many people show up every time, and it's like a constant influx of new people. And with spike ball, you need four people to play. So usually it's just like me and Angela go and then we'll link up with like two other people and we keep rotating as we play games. And we've met a few people through that. Like we talked, we were talking to like the founders of this whatever club. And then after actually, after the spike ball goes down, there's always like a Taco Tuesday thing that they organize. And so we like meet people and we eat food with them after. So join those leagues, get active. That is a great way to meet people because you're like also doing a shared activity, which is a good way to bond. Number five is this app slash website. It's called Meetup. And you just basically like input your city or whatever. And you can find different events that are going on specifically for the purpose of meeting people. So that's actually how I found the spike ball thing, to be honest. I looked up spike ball on the Meetup and it popped up. But they also have like... Sometimes I'll like mixers for like young professionals. Honestly, I haven't gone to any of them. The only thing I've gone to is the spike ball thing. But I know that like these are actual legit events. So just like look up any events that you're interested in and just attend it. Like what's the worst that can happen? Let's be honest. What is the worst that can happen? And if you don't want to go by yourself, go with like your roommate, you know? They probably have like hiking groups, running groups as well. So I would look at the meetup app and go to a couple events and see if you like anyone who you want to be friends with okay number six and this one is kind of tricky sometimes but i have made a friend out and about during the nightlife at the bars and you know the dance parties this is more rare because usually everyone's in their own cliques or if you do kind of like vibe it up with a group you don't really like get their number or like it's usually just like a one-time your night out thing but recently when we were out, there was this guy who had like, he had like this little glitter palette. He was like, let me glitter you guys up. 
So he like gave us glitter and he was super nice, just like so friendly. He was with a big group as well. And so my friend and I got his number and we actually followed up the next day. And so we ended up being able to like go to his place, go to his hot tub. And yeah, he's just like another friend that we have made just by meeting him out and about and following up with him. And also has a lot of connections. We have not yet, we have yet to meet his friends, but we'll make that happen soon. And through that, we'll make even more friends. You guys, you guys kind of, you saw what I'm stepped on? Okay, number seven, and this has actually been a big one, is Bumble BFF. I have not personally used this, but the, like, two of the girls who are in my roommate group you do are very active on Bumble BFF, and we've met some of our super good friends through Bumble BFF. Like our friend Jesse, our friend Mia, we met them through Bumble BFF, and we just like invited them to a picnic one time, invited Mia to go out with us one time, and now like Mia especially is like pretty much part of the core squad now. So definitely give Bumble BFF a try. I don't have personal experience with this, so I don't know exactly how it works, but there are definitely good options out there, especially girls who are like new to the city and looking for friends. Number eight is actually work peeps. So I know a lot of us are remote now, but chances are there's at least like one other person who works for your company who lives in the same city as you. For me, there was this girl, Brooke, who also moved to San Diego from the Bay Area who worked at my company. And she's like my age, so we met up to get tacos and she actually lives super close to me. So yeah, I leveraged my work network and now Brooke and I sometimes hang out. She's all like, yeah, we should get sushi sometimes. So leverage your work network as well. Sometimes I forget about that because I don't know. It's like you work all day with these people and you kind of forget you can also like hang out with them sometimes. And let's be real, like y'all were all hired at the same company for a reason probably because of the culture fit, so you probably will get along, hopefully. Number nine, if you live in an apartment or some sort of a complex or a house or whatever, make friends with your neighbors. I don't know how many people I talk to, they're like, I don't even know who my neighbors are. Well, why don't you know who they are? <laughs> Basically, and this is very clever. I props to, not me, props to the neighbors for doing this. We live in a kind of condo complex thing that has eight units. It just so happens to all be girls our age. We like that, we love that. So what happened was one of the girls, they gave us all like cards in our little, at our door. And it was like, come watch The Bachelorette with us and like meet everybody. And because of that, we were able to make friends with some of the girls in the units who live right next to us. And now we watch Bachelorette with them every week and they're super cool. We text them, we make plans with them. So yeah, if you like never see your neighbors or whatever, send them a card, put a card in their mailbox, invite them over to watch something or just be like, let's do like a dinner sometime. Honestly, if you don't know your neighbors, it's like 50% your fault for not trying and I guess 50% their fault for either not wanting to know you or not trying. So at least try, okay? Because also, again, they live right next to you, so that would be a very convenient friendship. Okay, okay, well, actually I have one more. This is like, I have, we haven't done this yet, but you could go to church. Now, I'm not religious at all. I did not go to church growing up, but I think it is a great way to meet people. So my friend Angela, she did go to church growing up and I think I'm gonna go with her one week just to see what the vibe is. And yeah, I think honestly from like my friends who do go to church, I feel like it is a great way to meet people. So if you are religious or interested in um, that kind of stuff, I would say that is also a good method to meet people. All right, I hope that was helpful. I hope that was interesting. And now you gotta go out there and meet some more people, make some friends. Let me know in the comments what you think about how I went about this. And yeah, go get them guys. I expect some more friendships to be made. All right, feel free to DM me anything else y'all have questions on and I will talk to you guys in the next video.